Today we're going to talk about slope-intercept form um, versus standard form. Um, let's get started. If um, just just to start off, slope-intercept form. is y equals mx plus b and um, if you watched the last video then that m should you should have said okay well that's where the slope is going to be um, this is your slope And then this plus B is your y-intercept. This the y-intercept is where your line is going to cross your y-axis. Okay. This is your y-axis. This is your x-axis, and this is your y-axis. It's the point where your line is going to cross this line. Okay. Okay, this is the point where it's going to cross this line. Okay, your standard form standard form is ax plus by equals c. That's your standard form. And so what we're going to do, we're going to, um, if you notice, um, the in this, in the slope-intercept form, the slope-intercept form, the y is on the side by itself. In standard form, the b is on the side by itself, okay, which is represented by c. Okay, so let's get started. So if I want to change my slope-intercept form, if I had y equals um, 2x minus 6 into standard form, I want to get the x and the y on the side by itself. Okay, so in order for me to get the x and y on the side by itself, I need to subtract 2 on both sides, 2x on both sides. When I subtract 2x on both sides, the 2x's are going to cancel over here, and that's going to leave me with, on the left-hand side, negative 2x plus y equals negative 6. And this is your A, this is your B, and this is your C. Okay. If I wanted to, if I gave you Y equals negative. 3x plus 7. If I want to write this in standard form, on this problem I'm going to add 3x to both sides. The 3x is going to cancel. That's going to leave me with, on the left hand side, 3x plus y equals 7. That's your A, that's your B, that's your C. Okay. Well, what if I had 
um, what if I had um, 4x plus 6y equals 8? And I wanted to change the standard form back into slope intercept form. Well, we said we, slope intercept form, you want to get the y on the side by itself. Remember, in slope intercept form, the y was on the side by itself. So we need to make this look like this with the y on the side by itself. Okay? So, um, when we were solving equations, if we wanted to isolate x, we moved everything that was not connected to the x away from the x first. So, if you notice, we want to get the y on the side by itself. Okay? We want to get this on the side by itself first. Okay? So, let's get rid of this 4x first, since it's not connected to the y. Okay? So, how am I going to get rid of 4x? I'm going to subtract 4x on both sides. The 4x's are going to cancel. That's going to leave me with 6y equals negative 4x plus 8. Now if you notice, I, I put my x term first. I put You want to put your x term first in front of your constant, okay? Um, why? Why? Because it's y equals mx plus b. It's mx plus b. So you want to make sure your, your x is first and then anything else behind it, okay? Now we need to um, get the 6 away from this y. Well, this problem is if I had um, 6y equals 8 as an equation, how would I get the y on the side by itself? I would subtract 6 on both sides. The 6's will cancel, so y equals... 8, 6, right? Which is 4 thirds. Well, um, I want to do the same thing. I want to subtract, I want to divide 6 on both sides. But if you notice on the right hand side, I have two terms. So I'm not just going to divide it by the, the, the 6 by this side and this term, but I had to do, I had to divide, I have to divide it on all of my terms. So, I'm going to divide 6 on this term, I'm going to divide by 6 on this term, and I'm going to divide by 6 on this term. Remember, whatever you do on one side, you have to do the same thing on the other side. But you have to do it throughout, okay? I just can't divide 6 on, these two, on, this, one, on this term. I have to divide it on this term too, okay? So, my 6's are going to cancel out, so that's going to leave me with y equals, I have negative 4, 6, x plus 8, 6. Now I need to determine, now that I have my y equals mx plus b, you should be able to see the y equals mx plus b. But I can reduce these fractions, okay? So I have y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 4 thirds, which is my y equals mx plus b. My slope is negative 2 thirds. And my um, y-intercept is going to be 4 thirds. So my line is going to cross the y-axis at 4 thirds. So this is 1 and that's 2. We know that 4 thirds, we know that 4 thirds equals 1 and 1 third. So my line that, if I were to draw this line, it's going to cross at uh, about this point right here. This is where my line should cross. Okay? At that point.
Okay, let's try another one. Um, 8x minus 2y equals 10. I would like for you to try this one. If you'll change the standard form into slope intercept form, um, place the video on pause while you're working, please. Thank you. All right. Right now, it's in standard form. We want this to look like y equals mx plus b. This is the form that we're looking for. We want our y on the side by itself, OK? So the first thing we want to do, we notice that we have two different terms here. We have an 8x and a minus 2y, OK? We want to leave this minus 2y, we want to leave this alone for right now. We want to leave that alone. So we want to move the 8x first. So let's subtract 8x on both sides. The 8x's, they're going to cancel out. That's going to leave me with a negative 2y equals, now I have a 10 and a negative 8x. Remember I told you, you want to make sure your x term goes first and then put the other term behind it. Okay. So it, it's starting to look sort of like this. You, you see it starting to change, okay? Starting to change. Now we need to move. Now we have the two, the negative two x on the side. We need to get the two x, the two, away from this y. So again, I'm going to divide every term by not two but negative two. That's a negative two. All right. The negative twos, they're going to cancel each other out. And that's going to leave you with, over here, we're going to be left with y. We now have our y on the side by itself. Well, y equals negative 8 over negative 2x plus 10 over negative 2. Wow, it's really starting to look like our y equals mx plus b now. Okay, it's starting to look real similar, okay? So, but we can reduce these fractions right now. So, I have my y equals negative 8 divided by negative 2 is a positive 4x plus... 10 divided by negative 2 is a negative 5. Well, it's really beginning to take shape. It's really beginning to look like this. Now, whenever you have two signs together like this, we need to simplify this even more. We know that a, a positive times, we know that whenever you have a, a positive and a negative together, the negative, you they become a negative. So whenever you have 4x minus plus 4x plus negative 5, that's really that can be simplified by saying y equals 4x minus 5. So now we have it really looks like y equals mx plus b. But this time it's not plus b, it's minus b. Can, do you notice what, what is the slope? What is the slope? Here is your slope. And do you remember what this is? This is your y-intercept. 
And remember, the y-intercept is where the line is going to cross your y-axis. This is your y-axis, and this is your x-axis. So, our if we were to graph this line, our line would cross at negative 5 and the line would have a slope of 4. Okay. I hope this video helped you out. If you have any comments or suggestions for future videos, please uh, email me at mathwithmoon at gmail.com and I will be more than happy to take your suggestions. And I will see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.